Hi friend, welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how to make these delicious sweet baby raised meatball. Child, these right here is the best appetizer at any event. Stay tuned. <music> This is the meatballs that we're going to be using, Italian style meatballs, okay? Yes, we're going to be using the frozen ones that already come rolled up. If you don't want to do that and you want to roll your own meatballs, well, baby, you go ahead and do that. But that's not what we're doing right here, okay? Boom. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get aluminum tray, and we're going to put two of them into that aluminum tray. Next, we're going to go ahead, we're going to add some seasoning to them because you know they don't really taste like nothing right now. You know them people don't really know how to make no food like that. So you know we got to fix it up and put some seasoning on it, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put one four teaspoon of lemon um, lemon pepper one fourth teaspoon of seasoning salt one fourth teaspoon of adobo one fourth teaspoon of onion powder and one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and if you're gonna come over here talking about something that's too much seasoning that's that's why your food be tasting the way it tastes because you always thinking it's too much seasoning then your food don't be having no flavor that that's why it's, it's the way it is okay so just trust the process and go ahead and add a little seasoning to the meatballs. Some of the seasoning is going to go down to the bottom, okay? Because you have to remember, these are still frozen. It's going to go down to the bottom. But when you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, they're going to start to cook and they're going to start to soften up. And you know what's going to happen? That seasoning going to go ahead and they're going to stick to the meatballs, all right? So just trust the process. Just trust the process. Trust your girl. I know what I'm doing. I got this, all right? These right here is the barbecue meatballs that everybody's going to be going crazy for. Trust me. Next, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with our barbecue sauce mixture. I'm going to use some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, the honey um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's the one I like. You use the one that you like. All right. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put one cup of Welch's grape jelly. And for the people that's coming, that's going to come here talk about some, oh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce is this and that, and you don't need to add, baby, this is my recipe. This my recipe, okay? This ain't the healthy channel. It, it is what it is. This is how we want to make it, and it's going to be good as hell, okay? If you don't like it, go ahead and, and, and find your healthy channel on how to eat celery. But this ain't it. This, this ain't the channel, okay? All right. Then after we, you mix it all together and there's no lumps and clumps of grape jelly and the sauce, it became one as a unit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on our meatballs. We're going to take the meatballs out. Remember, it was already in the oven for 20 minutes. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take them out and we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that barbecue sauce on them and we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix it all together until they become one as a unit. Okay. We're going to go ahead. We're going to mix it all together, you guys. And don't forget about none of them. Okay. Make sure all of them is well taken care of. Unlike your baby dad, don't be making sure you well taken care of. But you know what? That's not my business. So I'm just mind my business. Okay? Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix everything until they become one as a unit. Once everything is mixed and every single barbecue sauce is covered, we're going to go ahead. We're going to place it back in the oven at 350 degrees for another 20 to 30 minutes. Okay? That's how we're going to make sure the, the barbecue sauce um, stick to the to the to to the to the um to the meatballs, okay? And that's another reason why we added the the Welch's grape jelly to help it stick to the meatballs. And you see how now it's stuck to the meatballs? It is done. You see how beautiful that look? And I went ahead and I sparkled a little bit of parsley, just you know, to make it look more appealing to the eye. And boom, baby, there you have it. Everybody gonna be asking you who made these meatballs, babe. I'm trying to tell you, and they gonna be telling you when you gonna have another baby when they come to the baby shower because the meatballs so good, friend. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And go ahead and subscribe to my video for more channels. Bye. Until next time.